When we substitute in and evaluate an algebraic expression, it's oftentimes best practice to simplify first. In this case, we mean to distribute and combine like terms. If you have less repeat variables, you have less places to substitute in. That means less calculations, and from a probability standpoint, that means you'll be making less errors. Let's look at this algebraic expression to the left. 6a minus 13b minus 3 times 2b plus 5. First thing I need to do is distribute. Just think in terms of order of operations. Distribution is uh, an ex extension of multiplication. Combining like terms is an extension of addition subtraction. So we're always going to distribute first, just like we always multiply first. I'm going to distribute negative 3, not positive 3, but negative 3. So negative 3 times 2b is negative 6b. Negative 3 times positive 5 is negative 15. I'm going to bring everything else straight down. Now I need to categorize my like terms. I see a set of a. I'm going to underline it once. There are no other a's. I know I don't need to uh, combine my sets of a now. Negative 3b and negative 6b. I see two sets of like terms here. Negative 3b is negative, or sorry, negative 13b is negative 13 sets of b, and negative 6b is negative 6 sets of b. They can be combined. Negative 15 is all by itself. It's a separate category. I have underlined 6a once. I have underlined my two sets of b's twice and my constant three times. I have three categories. My final answer, unless something cancels out, should have three different terms. The only uh, two terms I'm going to need to combine are negative 13b and negative 6b. So I'm going to drop down my 6a because it's already simplified. Negative 13b plus negative 6b, I look at just the coefficients. So negative 13 plus negative 6 gives me negative 19. Not just negative 19, but negative 19b. So I'm going to go in alphabetical order. A, B, and constants are always at the end. I don't have to combine any constant or like terms that are constants, so I'm just going to drop down my negative 15. There's my final answer. On your own, try the second problem so combining like terms is fresh in your head. Look at this problem and see, how would you evaluate? How would you plug in, substitute, and then evaluate the final answer? Try it on your own in the left column. We'll try it again tomorrow in the right. Before we evaluate an algebraic expression using given values for the variables, we need to combine like terms and simplify the algebraic expression all the way down. This avoids us substituting in the same value multiple times. We start by seeing if we can distribute. In this case, we can. I'm going to distribute the 5 to negative 3x. That gives me negative 15x. I'm going to distribute the 5 to negative 2. 5 times negative 2 gives me negative 10. The y and the 8x come straight down. Remember, you rewrite the values that were not distributed or not evaluated as a result of distribution. Next, I need to combine like terms. I start by categorizing my terms. So I see 8x, I'm going to underline it once. All other sets of x, I'll underline once as well. I see negative 15x. Negative 10 is by itself, it's the only constant. I'll double underline it. y is by itself, it's the only y, so I'll triple underline it. I see three different categories. There's four terms, but there's three different categories. My final answer should be three terms as well, unless something cancels out. 8x plus negative 15x gives me negative 7x. Negative 10 and positive y just drops straight down. Notice I wrote the variables in alphabetical order. This is the most common version, the most common way of rewriting this. If you do not do not have them in alphabetical order, it's still mathematically correct. However, you never see that on a multiple choice test like the ACT. Now that your algebraic expression is simplified, we just pick up with the normal steps that we would follow when we evaluate an algebraic expression. So I'm going to replace the variables with sets of parentheses. Negative 7x plus y minus 10 becomes negative 7 parentheses plus parentheses minus 10. 
This way I know exactly where to plug in my values. I'm going to plug the given information into each parentheses or each set of parentheses. So x is negative 2, so negative 7 times negative 2. y equals 6, so instead of y, I'm substituting in 6. At this point, it becomes an order of operations problem. So I evaluate the expression using the order of operations. I'm going to use PEMDAS to analyze and evaluate this algebraic expression. I don't see any operations inside my parentheses. I don't see any exponents. So PE, I'm down to MD, multiplication division from left to right. I see negative 7 times negative 2, that's multiplication. Underline, evaluate, rewrite. So negative 7 times negative 2, that's a quick calculator moment, gives me positive 14. I'm going to bring down all the other operations and values. I see only addition subtraction from left to right. 14 plus 6 gives me 20. I'm going to bring down the minus 10. 20 minus 10 gives me 10. So remember, you need to simplify the algebraic expression. That means distribute, combine like terms. Then to evaluate, you need to substitute in the equivalent values for each of the individual variables you're given in the problem. Once you've substituted in, follow the order of operations to evaluate a final answer. Let's try this first problem together. We need to start by simplifying the algebraic expression. There's no distribution to do, so I'm just going to combine like terms. I see negative 2x. I see negative 3x. That's two different terms that are like. I see negative x, another like term. I'm going to single underline all of them. Remember, use a visual system. Either underline or use shapes colored pencil, whatever you need to do to categorize your like terms. I see in my next term is positive 5y. So I'm going to find all the sets of y. I'm going to double underline all the sets of y. Positive 2y, negative 1y. My next clear uh, uncategorized term is positive 4. It's a constant. So I'm going to triple underline all of my constants. I see three different categories, sets of x, sets of y, and constants. My final answer should have three terms, unless something cancels out. Remember, something would cancel out if I had 2x and negative 2x. 2 minus 2 gives me 0, so it would cancel. So I see negative 2x minus 3x minus 1x. Remember, when I combine like terms, I add and subtract the coefficients. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6x. Do the same thing with my y's. Positive 5 plus positive 2 is 7y. 7 plus negative 1 is 6y, so positive 6y. My constants, 4 plus 6 gives me 10. Now that I've simplified, I'm going to substitute in my two variables, or two equivalent values given for each of the individual variables. I'm going to replace each set of variables in the algebraic expression with parentheses so I know where to substitute in. Negative 6x becomes negative 6 times negative 2. Positive 6y becomes positive 6 times positive 3. Now it's just order of operations. There's no operations inside my set of parentheses, so I'm just going to skip on to exponents. There's no exponents. I see multiplication, so I'm going to take care of my first multiplication division operation from left to right. That's negative 6 times negative 2. Underline, evaluate, rewrite. So I'm going to do negative 6 times negative 2 to get positive 12. That's a quick calculator moment. Rewrite everything, the plus 6 times 3 plus 10. Everything that was not evaluated comes straight down. I haven't completed multiplication division from left to right, so I see 6 times 3. I underline, I evaluate, I rewrite. Remember, 6 times 3, that's a calculator moment, get 18. 12 and 10 need to come down. Easiest mistakes to make with order of operations is to either type the wrong values into your calculator or to forget to drop down values. Addition subtraction from left to right is all that left. 12 plus 18 gives me 30. I'm going to drop down that 10. 30 plus 10 gives me 40. There's my final answer. On your own, try the next problem. Notice there is distribution. and You're not just distributing 2. You're distributing negative 2. So negative 2 times 5, negative 2 times x. Then combine like terms, substitute in, and evaluate using the order of operations.